the first video. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show where it's Tuesday. Try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Happy New Year! Slap it high! We made it! We did it! We did another one! We're here! First video of the new year! Hey, be cool. We don't need that kind of pressure around here in 2018. We're not doing it. The only thing we're doing right now is pretending to be healthy. I personally would like to eat more vegetables this year. I'm terrible at eating and making vegetables. I buy them. Oh, I'm really good at buying them. And then they sit in my fridge and then they go back. Then I have a guilt trip. Then I stress eat because of the guilt. And it's never any vegetables that I'm stress eating because they got they went bad. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is we got a whole litany of things we want to do for our health as well as um, let me see 30 minutes of cardio a day 20 minutes of meditation every day one hour of reading every day one hour of writing every day one day night every week 15 minutes of skincare twice a day 20 minutes of cleaning every day and eight glasses of water and remember to take your vitamins hunger is just an inconvenience in our schedule that is somehow necessary to survival it sucks so I thought today we would do a vegetable minstroni soup it's healthy it's fast it doesn't take very many dishes and you can make a big batch of it to reheat whenever that annoying hunger happens to you yay we're doing it. We're doing it so hard. I don't think I've ever made a minstroni soup. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Let's make this dish. Since I'm wearing white, how weird. Why would I cover the kitchen wearing white if I'm gonna cook? Oh, good thing I have this apron. Now my white will be protected. Get out of here. Okay, step one. What are we doing? Where are we even? What year is it? It actually feels like 1970 in this kitchen. Are we destined to be in this kitchen forever? I feel like we are. Step one. We're gonna take a large pot, not that type of pot, dad. And we're gonna heat it over medium high, not that type of high. Dad, what type of recipe is this? Not today, stove, not today, come on. It's the first video. We're in this kitchen forever. Please, why, why do you hit me? Okay, great, first video of the new year. Front burner doesn't work, so we're using this back burner. That's fine. Step two, that's not the recipe. We're gonna add two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Look at my cute new tablespoons I got. Target. Sponsor me. It says you can add water instead of oil if you're one of those no oil people, but I like to some oil. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. Oil, love it. Did that work? Everything is off this year, especially this front burner. Don't think I forgot. Half a white or yellow onion. I'm not sure which one this is. I just chopped it. It wasn't red. And three cloves of minced garlic. I seriously, and I mean this with all of my heart, want a candle, a scented candle that just smells like garlic and onion. So it'll always at least smell like I'm a good cook. New merch, get ready 2019. Okay, now we're gonna stir that. I feel like I'm reaching so far to get to here. Why do you suck so much? Why do we have to stay in this kitchen? Questions that never get answered. Okay, we're gonna let them be like that for like three minutes before we add the next ingredient. I'll be waiting right here, but I'll skip ahead for you. Hey, you're welcome, it's been three minutes. And we are adding a cup and a half of trimmed, roughly chopped green beans. Oh my God, why? Everyone wants out of this kitchen. Gotta say, I think that was the first time I used my kitchen shears the correct way. Usually I just use them to open packages. We're doing two large carrots, thinly sliced. My carrots didn't look very large, so I did three. Are these large? I mean, I've seen larger, so. And we're doing a quarter teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Sea salt, if you will. And then sea pepper. That word, pepper. Pepper, I hardly know her. Okay, too many in a row. Settle down, 2018. This at least smells like good things are being cooked. I'm gonna count it as a win already. Too early? Do we really win when we're stuck in this kitchen? Don't answer that. Okay, now we're gonna let them do that for like three to four minutes. I'll wait here. Guess I'll skip ahead for you. Hey, you're welcome. It's been three to four minutes. We're gonna see if our vegetables have softened slightly. Are you slightly soft? Yeah, they are slightly soft. Like my belly after the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> That's not just a hacky joke, it's actually very true and I'm very self-conscious about it, so let's just stop, just settle down. We're gonna add one small zucchini sliced into quarter inches. This was the smallest zucchini I could find at the grocery store. Okay, well, you know, don't get a big head about it, but like, damn being very modest. We're doing a can of diced fire roasted tomatoes. We're doing six cups of vegetable broth. These are different brands because I had one in my pantry and you know, and I went to buy another one from a different store. Anyway, I don't need to explain everything I do. Okay, everyone settle down. It's getting way too rowdy here in 2018. Two, four, such quality. Six. 
We're doing two teaspoons of dried basil and two teaspoons of dried oregano. Or one tablespoon each of the fresh stuff if you got it. Don't brag. One tablespoon of nutritional yeast. One tablespoon of coconut sugar. I don't have coconut sugar, but I do have raw cane sugar, so we're being bad. You know, a little bit bad. I've never heard of, oh my gosh, I used half a tablespoon. These new tablespoons really throw me off. I've never even seen half a tablespoon before. It feels like a full tablespoon to me. I've never heard of sugar going into vegetable soup before, but I'm not a chef, so I'm just gonna trust. Did you know that, by the way, that I'm not a chef? I feel like sometimes people just search for videos and they just assume that they're gonna get a person that knows what they're doing in here, and that's a terrible assumption. Surprise! Now you're here, stuck in this kitchen. Cool pose. And we're gonna add one can of garbanzo beans, rinsed and drained. Drained and rinsed. Whatever order. Yeah. Actually, it tastes good too. The Tasty Tuesday band says it smells really good in here. Goodbye. You've been chosen. Okay, now we're gonna stir these around. What else do you do with the soup, right? Okay, now we're gonna increase our heat to medium high till we get to a strong simmer. <clears throat> Strong simmer. Well, it looks like this thing's gonna miss its cue for a little bit, so um, I'll be here, but I'll skip ahead for you. Hey, you're welcome. We're at a strong simmer now. I burnt my tongue once on the way to this happening. I'm fine. 2018's great. Okay. Okay, now that it's at a strong simmer, though, we're gonna turn it down, okay, to medium low and get, like, not boiling, but just simmering going on. Low simmer, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Reading the directions. Reduce heat to a low, no. Reduce heat to medium low until the soup is simmering but not boiling. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll show you what it looks like, hold on. Like, does that, is that simmering but not boiling? We don't know, we never know. We never know anything. I'm gonna forge ahead. To our simmering not boiling soup over there, we're gonna add two cups of pasta. I'm using brown rice fusilli because it's gluten free and it's a new year and so we're pretending not to eat that right now, right? We're healthy. One. Oh my God. Oh, hey, everybody settle down. Simmer down, <laughs> like the soup. I'm struggling. We need to pasta. That's all I got, guys. Okay. We're gonna cook this pasta for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Guess uh, I'll be here. See you in a sec. Oh, hi, how are you? It's been 10 minutes. Now what we're gonna do is turn our heat even further down low to low and simmer for four to five more minutes, stirring occasionally. But this time we're gonna taste it and then add more seasons as necessary. So more seasons, more seasoning, seasonings. Don't add more seasons. It's it can't handle winter is enough. Oh dear, this bitch needs more salt. I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It needs way more salt, I'm so sorry. And pepper, maybe some more of these, basil leaves? Maybe, I don't know, probably. We're doing it. Oregano, sure. I don't know how much more. Oh, that's a lot, maybe just a little. Okay, let's see what that did. Oh, that's much better. That's much, much better. Oh boy, add a lot more salt. I think you know what it is. I used low sodium vegetable broth. I am dumb. Why would you ever do that? All right, almost done. Been four or five minutes of stirring this on low. Now we're gonna add a cup of either kale or spinach or some other green. I'm doing baby spinach because I just like cooking babies. Stir it! Yay! Stir it for four to five more minutes. <laughs> There's so much stirring involved in this. But guess what, you only have to make this once and then you have soup for the whole week. So that's cool. This is worth it. You're doing a good job. So many vegetables. Okay, I think we've stirred enough. I'm going a little stir crazy over here. <laughs> Somebody stop her. No, seriously, stop her. I think our soup is ready. It looks so good. It looks all chunky and flavorful now. It smells good. It looks good. Everything, don't get a big cat about this. Everything is looking tight over here. So we're gonna turn this off. I'm gonna see if we did a good job. Here's to another year of trying not to suck in the kitchen. Killing it. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh, you can't really see very well in this lighting. But look, it's creamy. It's, well, it's not creamy, but it's like thick. It's delicious looking. Oh my goodness. But is it tasty? We don't know. We have to ask the Tasty Tuesday man. Let's go find out. Okay. Okay. Happy so, Tasty Tuesday well, to you. spoon ever. Thanks a lot. Well, you have a big mouth and a big head. What do you want? I like tiny spoons. Hey, spoon. don't start yet. Oh. I said Happy Tasty Tuesday to you. Happy Tasty Tuesday unto you as well. I hope it's a tasty one. I do, I do too, actually. If, I feel like it's Groundhog's Day, you know, where like the groundhog, if it sees its shadow, then it's gonna be like spring, and if it's not, then it's gonna be a long winter. You're oh, the groundhog. Does it feel like that? Yeah, it does feel like oh, that. Oh, okay. I hope it's not a long winter. Check out my garden. Don't. I have a garden, Steve doesn't have a garden, so. 
it sucks for him because like I don't know like I sometimes I have to talk about my garden and like I can only talk to people that have gardens Steve just doesn't get me anyway I don't have a garden all right this is a vegetable minstroni suit it's very healthy it's very filled with vegetables and hopefully it's tasty but you know never know on tasty Tuesday did you grow these vegetables from your garden no but I could if I wanted oh really yeah, why I don't could. you do it then well it just takes a little bit of time oh how much time is it I think it's like, you know, a little bit of time. Oh, well, I can just go to the store and get vegetables anytime I want, so that's pretty cool. You know, if you own a garden, you can still go to the store. Really? <laughs> How that is. I like this. Can't tell if that's a lie or not. No, I actually do like this. It's very healthy. That's what it is. It tastes healthy, but it tastes good. Yeah? Does it taste better than your canned soup that you bought from Target just now? Nothing does, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Nothing does, baby. Sorry. And the whole wide world. You're a bunch of ingredients you can't even pronounce in that can. Polysorbate, carbohydrate. That's what I'm talking just about. Just some quality vegetables in a soup. That's what it is. I think I just love quality. the fake stuff so much and all the sodium. <laughs> you like the sodium? I love all the sodium. So, you know, I just need to cover this with like pepper. And then it's really good. Well, but it's yeah. very good. I think there's a bit of a kick to it right now. So, like, for me, I wouldn't want to add more pepper to oh, it. Yeah, you try. I've been trying it. I just think it's dope as fuck. Oh, yeah, you've been really trying good. it to taste. That was really good. Yeah, it's, it's good. I like it. Like if I ordered minstroni soup at a restaurant and this came out, I'd be really satisfied. That's good. It's a good way of eating all your vegetables without having to like cook vegetables all the time or make steamed vegetables. Such sucks making steamed vegetables. The whole house smells like vegetables. Can I rant about vegetables? Please. I love vegetables. I hate cooking vegetables. End of rant. Okay, that was good. No, thank you. No, I was very passionate. I love this recipe. So I'm gonna say it's tasty. I agree. Yeah? Yeah, you did. Tasty! Yay! You don't have to it's yell. It's gonna be a you, good year. You don't have to yell. I know I don't have to, but when you're in a garden, sometimes you get very excited about oh, life. Oh, you just stop with the garden. I'll get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna fill this whole room with gardens. Don't, so no. No, I'm gonna get so many gardens. That wouldn't look good. Well, I'm gonna get tons of gardens, and then you're not gonna be able to say that anymore. And then I'll have a garden too. And then I'll say, oh yeah, well, how many gardens do you have? Oh yeah, that's, oh. Then I'll throw my garden away and I'll make it cool to not have a garden. Oh, that would be cooler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to Dove as any of this. I will see you all this year. S different year, same shit. How about that? Wow, that was really inspirational. Ooh.